is the 45 liter travel backpack made by Peak Design. Now to clarify, this is not a new bag. As a matter of fact, at the time of this video, which is being recorded in late 2022, this bag is about four years old. So it's been around. However, it remains one of Peak Design's most popular products and one of the most popular backpacks. It's a good size bag to be packing a bunch of stuff into. You can use it as an airplane carry-on, more on that in just a second. And this bag also doubles as a photography bag because you can also buy specially designed camera cubes also made by Peak Design that fit inside of this bag and allow you to use it as a gear hauler to be packing it full of camera bodies, drones, lenses, batteries, whatever you have. Now, I think one of the most important things to understand about this bag, if you are currently shopping for a travel bag or a camera a backpack, when you buy the bag and take it out of the box, this is actually right now a 35 liter bag. It's only 45 liters when you expand it, when you unzip the sides here and this unzips all the way around and expands outward. And this is important, I think, to point out because most airlines limit carry-on uh, bag size to 35 liters. As long as your bag is 35 liters or smaller, you shouldn't have any trouble carrying a bag onto an airplane and using it as a carry-on. And that goes for airlines in the United States, Europe, or anywhere else in the world. So the color you're looking at here is Sage. And at the time of this video, there are two colorways for the 45 liter travel backpack, Sage and a you know more standard dark gray or black color. Pretty much everything I buy is you know black or you know, some shade of gray. I typically you know, stay away from colors, but this is the bag, the color of bag that Peak Design sent me. It's like a soft gray with like a little bit maybe of like army green kind of mixed in there. I've been uh, pleasantly surprised. It's it's really been growing on me. But you know, if this isn't your thing, if you don't like this color, then you can always just get it in dark gray. So as for the materials used, this whole bag is made out of nylon. And I believe if I remember it, this is 900D nylon. If, and then down here on the bottom is 400D nylon, which is thicker and more water resistant. It helps, you know, keep water out if you were to, you know, like drop this bag down on a wet or damp ground. So this bag is water resistant, but it's not completely waterproof. And unfortunately, unlike other camera backpacks I've tested, this bag does not come with its own custom fitted uh, rain cover. It's not terribly expensive, but it is an additional cost. It's something else you have to buy. And it looks like it's also designed really well. It comes in a little pouch that uh, you then add to the bag and you can you know, add to this compartment down here on the front. On both sides of the bag are uh, large uh, side pockets here to be, you know, sticking like a big water bottle in here, or you could also put like a compact tripod in here. And actually speaking of tripods, this is a good time to mention that you probably want a tripod that is more of like a travel tripod or more of a compact tripod because this backpack does not have lateral straps up here at the top or, or here in the middle to help secure tripods that are taller. Like for example, I carry a pretty tall tripod when I go out and do landscape photography. And with a bag like this, like it has a tendency to kind of sway and shift back and forth because it's not being secured. But if you have a smaller or just a more average you know, size tripod, it'll be fine inside of this pouch and it'll hold it down. Both of the big pockets, by the way, have these uh, extra little, you know, discreet kind of pouches right in here, just a little pocket there. Uh, it's like a pocket within a pocket. Also on the outside, there is a pocket up here at the top that you can be using to, um, you know, be carrying like car keys, a phone, headphones. I do wish this was a little bit deeper to be holding more items because I tend to use, you know, these pockets quite a bit. Uh, another interesting design detail here on the back of the bag, there is this tiny little, this tiny little pocket in here that you can be using to put uh, like an ID card in here, some kind of ID identification. And it's also a really good place uh, to be putting an Apple AirTag as well, or some type of Bluetooth tracking, like a tile, something like that. There is a side handle here. There's one on the top. There's one over here on this side too. And then there's uh, one on the bottom. And then there is uh, one here on the back as well. And this is nice because it allows you to, you know, pick up and carry the bag like so. Okay, so let's move on here and talk about the straps. Now, this being a backpack, of course, there are, you know, a couple of shoulder straps, but this bag also has a uh, removable sternum strap, which is uh, this item right here. Waist belt 
is actually tucked underneath this magnetized flap. And when you're not using it, it's really easy to just, you know, just lift this flap, push it in, and then push it back down. You don't even feel it. Like there's no difference in the feeling of the bag when this waist belt is inside of here and, and when it's not. And that I think is a really cool feature. And it's also technically possible actually to tuck these uh, shoulder straps inside of here as well if you wanted to, to just totally clean up the exterior of the bag. And then you could, you know, like carry the bag as a duffel. Most waist belts, you would have like some kind of like black plastic, you know, clip that will go together. This Peak Design bag, however, has this metal, uh, like a little hook here. And then this goes inside of a thick black nylon loop here on the other. Peak Design backpacks also have this unique uh, rotating point up here with their shoulder straps where the strap can actually um, rotate and move like so. Like it's not just, you know, sewn directly into the bag, which helps make, you know, the bag a little more comfortable when carried. And then there is the sternum strap. Now with the sternum strap, there are four uh, points here on the outside of, of each uh, shoulder strap. So for someone like me, who's rather tall, I'm six foot four, so I put this at its lowest position. On a positive note, I think it's really nice that you're able to make adjustments to the to the position of the strap while you're wearing the bag. You don't have to like take the bag off. The downside of this design, however, is the fact that it does just so easily come off the bag. You can get a replacement from Peak Design. That's not the problem. It's more of just, you know, because it's not sewn into the bag, it's the kind of thing that could be dropped in and could be lost. So. Just something to know. Now, as I said earlier, this bag is intentionally designed to appear sleek and modern and contemporary. So as a result, the shoulder straps and the waist belt on this travel backpack are rather thin in comparison to say like a mountaineering backpack or a, like a backpack you would carry if you were going camping or hiking on the trail for a number of miles and for a number of days. This bag is really not ideal for that, not only because the uh, the straps are rather thin. I mean, they're comfortable, they're perfectly fine. They're made of like, they have some high density foam inside of here, but this is not like a harness that can be adjusted on the back here. Like the waist belt is where it is. It can't go higher or lower. You also cannot adjust the height of the straps up here either. If I were buying a backpack that I would want to wear for a number of days that I knew I was going to be hiking a number of miles in and comfort was a priority to me, then I probably want a bag that has something a little bit thicker and a bit plusher than what uh, this backpack provides. Okay, as for accessing the interior of the bag, getting inside of this bag here, there are four different ways to do it. There is a front opening here that zips, not quite all the way around, it stops like right about here. And then you have uh, you know, like a mesh pocket here. There are some little thin pockets here and these are good for things like, like filters and batteries. And then in order to get into the interior of the bag, there is an additional zipper here that comes down on both sides, this folds down with other camera backpacks. Typically you have a choice between buying a bag that has uh, front loading or back loading compartments. Like either you get to your gear through the front of the bag or through the back of the bag where the straps are. With this bag, you can do either one. If you get the camera cubes for this bag, you can position the cubes so that the opening is you know, towards the back of the bag, or you can flip them around so their openings are towards the front and then access your gear through the front of the bag if that's what you prefer. The second and third way to access the interior of the bag is through the side. They have these side panels that open up like so. And what's interesting about the design of these camera cubes and, and the bag itself is that when you open up the side panel, you'll notice that the cubes, at least this, um, this medium sized one here, has its own flap as well. So you can unzip this and then you're able to access your camera from right inside of here. So it is technically possible to, you know, kind of like sling this bag around in front of you, unzip the side, access your camera like so, if you're using the cubes and it's positioned uh, like this. And then the fourth way to get inside the bag is obviously through the back. And we have a couple of zippers here. There is, uh, right up here, there is a pouch for your laptop. And this can hold up to a 16 inch laptop. And there's actually, 
quite a bit of space in here. This actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the of the flap here. So it gives you quite a bit of space for a laptop and then some. Okay, so let me take these cubes out really quick. And just to clarify, by the way, these camera cubes here are add-ons. These are, uh, these must be purchased separately from Peak Design. These do not come with the backpack. In the back of the bag back here, this is basically the reverse of what you saw before when we opened up the front of the bag. Now you'll notice all around the interior of the bag here, there are these, these black uh, nylon loops that have been uh, stitched into the bag. These loops are for mounting the camera cubes because these camera cubes here also have these black nylon loops on them. And they come with these little clips, these black clips that mount the camera cubes inside of the bag so that if say you were to, you know, to unzip this, then the cubes wouldn't fall out. They would stay secure and stay mounted inside the bag. So this is the small and you can see that it's got, you know, like Velcro spacers and dividers inside of it that you can move around and customize however you want. There's also, where is it? Oh yeah, there's also a really, you know, nice little extra thing here, a little pouch. I'm not sure if you're able to see that, but uh, I think you get, yeah, you can see that. There's like a nice little extra pouch there to be, you know, like SD cards, little small fiddly things that have a tendency to get lost. And then we have the medium camera cube. And this is exactly the same as the uh, interior of the small, except it is twice as large. This medium cube is essentially two small cubes, like side by side. And then Peak Design also sells a third uh, cube, a large cube. You have the option of filling up this travel backpack here with three small cubes, or you can do one small cube and one medium cube, or you can do one large cube. This travel backpack from Peak Design is truly a modular hybrid backpack that could be used, you know, just purely for travel. Like if you're going on vacation, if you were, you know, doing whatever and not planning on doing any intensive photography, well, you can just take the cubes out and then you're able to, you know, fill up the gear, uh, fill up the, uh, the backpack with all your stuff. Or if you were say going on a photography trip, if uh, say like I were traveling to Iceland or something like that, then, and I knew I was going on an airplane, then I could fill this bag up with the cubes and then pack all of my uh, camera bodies, drones, lenses, lithium batteries, all that stuff inside of the bag. And then when I get to my destination, well, obviously I don't wanna be hiking around all the time with every single piece of gear that I brought with me, not to mention all the, all the batteries as well. I could, you know, pick the medium one if I knew I was gonna be bringing a number of things or I could just pack the small one and then I would have room in here for, you know, like a jacket, for food, for whatever else that I that I wanted to bring. Oh, and something else that's worth mentioning is that uh, these cubes can actually be used on their own as shoulder bags if you want to because they have these additional loops down here on the corners that you could use to attach, you know, some type of camera strap and you could, you know, I'm not sure if you know, the medium, medium might be a little big for that, but if you were just looking for like, almost like a sling bag, just like something that you could like throw over your shoulder and carry with you, uh, well, this is like one less bag then that you would have to pack in your, uh, in your luggage. You could just throw a camera strap on here and use this to uh, carry your, your camera and lens around town. So when you boil everything down and consider the uh, the totality of the user experience and design of this bag. It's a very smart bag. It's very well designed, very high quality. And I love, you know, all the little design details and touches that, you know, Peak Design is just so particularly good at. Like I just, you know, these little magnetized side flaps here hiding the, the waist belt. It's just, you know, such a clever and cool feature, which odds are you're not gonna be able to find on another bag. And I love the expandability of this bag, being able to go from 35 liters to 45 liters, you know, if I'm, you know, if I need a little extra room, I think that's really awesome. And also when it comes to the camera cubes, I can't say enough good things about the camera cubes, like being able to, you know, take the cubes in and out, configure it exactly how you want it, not just before you get on an airplane, but after, that's really cool. The main limitation of this bag, as I mentioned earlier, are the straps. Like if I were looking for a camera backpack that I, you know, really wanted to wear, you know, for hours and hours at a time, all day long, for multiple days at a time, I would probably shop for a camera bag uh, that has, you know, thicker shoulder straps 
a thicker waist belt and a more adjustable harness here on the back, especially for me, because as I said, you know, I'm a little bit tall. I have a pretty, pretty long torso. So, you know, the fit of the of the pack is, you know, fairly important to me. But, you know, if you have no intent uh, to be using the bag uh, in that way, then the bag will be perfectly fine and comfortable for you to use. And you can just throw it on, you know, with the shoulder straps. And then if you're, you know, carrying a little extra cargo and it's getting a little heavy, you can always pull out the waist belt and uh, throw that on as well. Oh, and by the way, I totally forgot to mention, if the 45 liter size of this bag is a little too large, there is a smaller uh, sibling to this bag, and I will link to that one down below in the description if you would like to check that one out as well. Thanks to Peak Design for sharing the backpack and the camera cubes with me. And if you would like to check the current price of this bag and the cubes and anything else that I talked about in this video, I will link to them down below in the video description so you can check them out. If you have any questions about this pack, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below, or if leaving a comment here on YouTube isn't your thing and you want to reach out to me directly, you will find my, uh, my contact information in the description as well. Happy to answer any questions you may have. If this video was helpful and it was worth your time, please take a moment and give this video a thumbs up down below. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you would like to do this again in the future, take a moment and subscribe. That's it. I will see you next time.